Back in the early 1960s, the people of the Faroe Islands began digging tunnels in order to improve infrastructure. The first tunnel was completed in 1963, and today there are 19 tunnels on the islands, and two of those are subsea tunnels. The most recent tunnel was opened for traffic on September 1st in 2016. In 2014, the Faroese Parliament unanimously agreed to start construction of subsea tunnels between the islands of Stremoy and Estroy, and between Stremoy and Sandoy. This is the biggest infrastructure expansion on the Faroe Islands ever. A public limited company is in charge of the project, whose purpose is to construct the tunnels and roads and to maintain operations of the tunnels when they have been completed. From 2014 to 2024, a total of 400 million Danish crowns will be appropriated on the national budget for the tunnels and the rest will be funded through loans. The company will start the construction of the Estroy Tunnel first, and drilling for the Sandoy Tunnel will start when the Estroy Tunnel has been completed. The purposes of the tunnels are to increase mobility for the average citizen on the Faroe Islands, companies, and public administration. The tunnels will shorten the daily routes for several thousand people by up to an hour and a half, and thereby strengthen private durability, commercial competition, and the national economy as a whole. Half of all inhabitants of the Faroe Islands will live in an area where the driving distance will be near insignificant. Services will become available where previously the population base for such services was too low. The tunnels will be repaid through toll fees. Experience from the Vuar Tunnel and the Noroy Tunnel show that traffic in the tunnels is greater than originally expected and the growing number of cars ensures stable funding. Because of the Vuar Tunnel and the Noraya Tunnel, and now also the Estroy and Sandoy Tunnels, some 90% of the inhabitants of the Faroe Islands will be connected through one network of roads. This is a tremendous step forwards for Faroese society as a whole, for businesses, culture, and for the people. The tunnel will connect both sides of the Bay of Skolafjörður using two tunnels that connect to a roundabout under the seabed. The tunnel will be 2.2 kilometers long from the main road at Rochina in Saltnes to the roundabout, and the distance from Shekf at Strander to the roundabout will be 1.7 kilometers. The main tunnel from Toshan to the roundabout will be 7.5 kilometers, and the tunnel will resurface by the village of Kuitines. In order to increase safety, the inclination in the tunnel is never steeper than 5%. The lowest point is 187 meters below the water surface, making this the deepest tunnel in the Faroe Islands. The Estroy Tunnel will be some 11 kilometers long. By way of comparison, the Vuar and Norai Tunnels are 4.9 kilometers and 6.2 kilometers long, respectively. The tunnel will shorten the travel distance from Toshan to Runovuik from 55 kilometers to 17 kilometers. The travel distance from Toshan to Strendur will also be shortened from 55 kilometers to 17 kilometers. The 64 minute drive will be shortened to 16 minutes. The drive from Toshan to Klaxvuik will be shortened from 68 minutes to 36 minutes. It is estimated that more than 6,000 vehicles will drive through the tunnel every day, 